Hey guys, what's up? Sam here back with another video. On today's video, I'm going to be talking about a new purchase that I got. It's something I've been looking for for a long, long time. Basically, it's a bag that I wanted to use to bring all my camera stuff, all my tech stuff, everything in one, something that wasn't too big, something that was very portable, something that just didn't scream camera bag, steal me. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best tech slash camera bag that you can get for under $100. All right, let's get started. Now the bag that I purchased is this one right here. It is the Manfrotto NX bag. I really, really like it because it just looks like a regular backpack and it's really small, very lightweight. It can hold a bunch of stuff. Now for me, what I really wanted to do was to get a bag that could hold my laptop, which is a 15.6 inch laptop, along with my two cameras, all the audio gear, batteries, portable chargers, and all that stuff. And this seems to be a winner guys. So if you guys even have one camera, it will definitely house this plus a couple lenses. For me, this houses my two cameras plus an additional lens. So that's three lens in total, two bodies, the laptop, as I said, a 15.6. So if you have a MacBook, it's definitely gonna hold the 13 or the 15 inch and a bunch of other stuff. So as I start, I'm gonna show the compartments and show you all the pros and if there's any cons i'll let you guys know about that as well all right now as i mentioned guys this thing has a really slim design as you can see like this is just it right here and that's one of the things that drew me to this bag because i really wanted to have something small i'm a pretty petite girl so yeah uh, i didn't want to have something really bulky and heavy on my back this is something that i'm going to be using in june when i do go on vacation so it's going to be able to carry everything that i need all right so i'm just going to go around each side and show you how it looks and the features it has and all that stuff right now right here as you can see it has a little pocket you can put a water bottle some small items like i don't know some change but what it's really designed for and the reason that i got it is because it is able to carry your tripod all right so you put the leg in here and you fasten it with this which i absolutely love and this right here is um adaptable so you can draw this like so if you have a big tripod or a smaller tripod whatever close that down and clamp it in there all right now it also has some really padded uh, straps here. Good for comfort, good for support. I really dig that. And another feature that I love, which makes it a perfect travel bag, is this right here. This is uh, the strap that you can use to put your luggage handle through. So if you're running with a carry-on, you can just slide it through there and uh, make it very portable, right? Just have it on top of the carry-on and one little pull and you're pulling this along with your carry-on. So that is a definite must have when I was looking for a bag of this nature, all right? Now moving on to this side here, there's nothing here, just the zippers. This thing pretty much has three basic uh, compartments, really. It's this one here, this is the main one. Uh, this secondary one here, and it has this one here as well. This is just a smaller section that you can put the stuff in. For me, I might put my passport in there. Some people are kind of, you know, weird about putting a passport on the front. But, you know, little documents, your tickets, and another thing, papers, anything at all, guys. I mean, your phone could go there. Now, people might not even know that there's something inside because you can tuck the zipper inside like that. And it doesn't even look like there's a zipper there. So it's a bit, kind of a hidden compartment, if you will. So I do think I'm gonna be able to put my money and maybe not too much money, but I think I can put my passport in there along with my tickets, stuff like that when I'm traveling. All right, now let's just go into the front section here. All right, I'm gonna just open this up all the way so you guys can see. It goes down all the way to the bottom. All right, now on the front, now if you look right here, it has some mesh sleeves. It has parts for your pens. I do have this nice little slick pen here from my bank. I do love that pen. And it goes down and clamps really, really nicely. So two mesh sleeves right here. Now for me, what I do, I put batteries in here, all the batteries and any little miscellaneous. So camera batteries, batteries for my Zoom, I put them all in here. Over here, I can put stuff for my little uh, 4K action cam, so the little mounts. Any other miscellaneous items, I might have lens caps over there, sleeves. And now the real star of the show is this right here. This is the 
camera compartment. It has three sections and it has the Velcro little dividers that you can take out and move it to fit your you know configuration of how you really want stuff. Now for me I have two cameras so what I do I just put them in there along with the lens attached and it fits perfectly. All right I normally have the Nikon here and in the middle I have the G7 and over here I have that extra lens. All right this is a kit lens this is the 18 to 55 millimeter and it fits perfectly. All right, and this is a APS-C lens. It's pretty big, pretty bulky, but it works fine just the same. And what I do like about that, it's kind of hidden. So you won't really know that there's a camera in there. You might be like, oh, okay. Like look, you know, it's real fast and nobody won't know that it's a camera in there. So it's good for like uh, thieves or something like that. I don't know. But right here, this little space in between, I put all my cables. Now you could probably put your cables somewhere else, but this is where I put my cables. I think it's pretty accessible. I have a ton of space here for cables, so I can put a bunch of cables in there. All right, now we have this other section here where I put stuff that I don't really want to be damaged or so small miscellaneous items. What I have in there for now, this is my action cam, my 4K action cam. I just throw that in there. And this is my SD card holder. Add that in there as well. But I still have tons of space to put more stuff. So that's, you know, for whatever. Now, zipping this back up. Now the final star of the show, which is this main compartment here. This now, I put a bunch of stuff in this, guys. All right, this has my gimbal. It has the battery chargers, two battery chargers, in fact. All right, I have tripods. Now it doesn't go all the way down because the bottom half of the bag is where you have the cameras. So it just goes down to right here, which is resting on top of the camera section there. So you have all this space, pretty much like the top half of the bag to put whatever you want in there. And for this section, this is what houses the laptop, all right? All right, so this is my 15.6 laptop. I'm gonna show you how it fits in there quite effortlessly. And you have this little strap right here to secure it. And you even have a little bit more space. So if you have a 17 inch, it might hold, guys. I don't know, I don't have a 17 inch, but it just might hold. And yeah, throw them back in here. I was really surprised that it could hold the gimbal and everything else, but yeah, guys, this is it. So yeah, guys, not too shabby at all. Like, and it has tons of space for expansions. So if you wanna drop it down low, carry it back up high, whatever. It's so comfortable. I mean, it's not packed right now because my cameras, I'm using everything else, but it is so lightweight, even with just the stuff that I have in there. So if you wanna just have a day pack with your laptop or whatever, it's gonna be really cool. I totally dig this. I don't even have a con right now. I mean, maybe the only con would be to have a little, uh, you know, pocket right here for just that added security to put money and stuff in there. But I totally dig this. I mean, maybe one con could be, might be with the design, how they have it where the camera is, you know, inside kind of tucked away and hidden. It's not really good for easy access. And some people might want that. But for me, it's not really a problem at all. So yeah, guys, I do hope you guys like this. As usual, I put links in the description down below for, you know, where to get this, how much it costs. It cost me $66 on B&H. So I'll put links with that uh, down below. But it is awesome. It comes in a bunch of other colors as well, guys. I think it comes in black and red. But I am a fan of blue. I definitely love blue. Yeah, so I got the blue one. I was really pumped because I really wanted a nice bag that was not just the basic black bags and i got this one and for me it is just perfect all right i hope you guys like this video guys if you did definitely let me know by smashing that thumbs up button down below and as always guys thank you so much for watching my name is the coin and i'll catch you guys in the next one Zing.